Ahoy mates and happy Friday. I hope you've been having a great week. Time for another episode of my blind bag ship series. Let us grab our five items. And you know what? Let's start with our Hello Kitty and friends. It's a little blind bag mystery figure. Those look pretty cool. And then on this side, I have a Securities little mystery plush from series two. Oh, look at the elephant. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever opened series two before. And then on this side, you know what? Let's grab our big mystery squad squish model blind bag. These are the scented little food themed ones. And then down here, I have a retro toys mystery mini from Funko. Those are really cool. And then one more item, might as well go all the way down. And oh, I have some sort of capsule. Okay, come on out. Oh, we have, oh wow. We have one of those villainous valentines. Oh, those are fun. <laughs> those are a good time. Everything's led into the Jolly Roger. I have our captain and our cute crew. Let's grab our Hello Kitty and Friends blind bag. This is from the Sweet and Salty series. Ooh, and there's a bunch of different ones and color variation ones you can collect. I would love to find a little Kuropi. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> okay. So inside, oh, we have Kuropi in her little purple hood. Oh, I love that. She comes with a very delicious looking candy apple. And these are nice, solid plastic figures. Love the cute little tail and back. And then this just goes into her hand like so. Oh, that's really cute. And of course you can switch these out with other characters. Oh. And on the checklist we have Kuromi C. I guess, okay, so those are the three types of blind bag Kuromis you can find. Oh, how cute she has like a mochi donut. Is that cotton candy? I'm not sure what she's holding there, but we have this one. And she's actually the first blind bag figure I've opened. I've done the set, which is really cool because you do get a Tuxedo Sam. Unfortunately, you cannot find Tuxedo Sam in the blind bags. It's just these, um, but still really, really cute figures. And of course, I'd love to see more Hello Kitty stuff readily available in stores. Let's move on to our Securities plush. We'll put Snoopy down here and oh, I love the packaging on these. They were they were so cool. So this is from series two. And here's a look at the characters. Oh, that's a cute little piggy. And then on this side, oh, the little chick. The elephant's adorable. Is that like a cow or is that like a flying pig? <laughs> the rare special. That is very, very cute as well. Okay. Have this you can use this to plant a seedling and inside oh we have this guy it looks like a squirrel that's cute oh he's really cute so they do have beans in the bottom portion oh and I love the little blushy cheeks and this little cutie is named Charlie moving on to the side of the ship we have our Funko Paka Paka villainous Valentine's capsule which are quite irreverent, but a good time. <laughs> Some are like, really like, ooh. I don't know if Funko's still doing Paka Pakas. I hope so. I feel like they haven't had a new series in, in quite some time. Okay. And inside, you know what? Let's get out the checklist first. Oh yes, you can find the Funko Dragon, which is so cute. Look at the one for Valentine's. That is awesome. So here's our lineup. We have the commons. I really like the raccoon with the hatchet. Super commons, hyper rares. That cow's cute. Oh, it has a nice ax looking thing. And then the chase one in 18s. And then of course the super rare chase is the bonus dragon. Okay, so let's just see who we have. And, oh, we have the lamb with the grenade. <laughs> they look flocked. <gasps> Okay, yes, they are flocked. How cute is that? How cute and wrong? Um, that's a that's a cool little mini grenade. Oh my goodness. So their black wool is flocked, and we have one of the Chase one in 18s. Oh, these three are all flocked. Oh, that's really cute. And this one's new to my collection. 
so sweet and so wrong. And then what's even better is their little stories. Oh, I don't see the lamb on the stories though. I'm not sure what their name is either. Oh wait, there's, there we go. So we have Darling. We just have the black sheep version and it says, Hey Valentine, I'm not so bad. <laughs> As they're holding the grenade. <laughs> I, I don't believe you, um, but you're very, very cute. Onto something just cute without a grenade is our scented mystery squad. Those are the little characters to collect. I would love to find the little ice cream sandwich, but they're all adorable. Oh, we have somebody pink coming out. Oh, cute. We have Angelica. Looks like she's like a, a frozen yogurt. But I really love the little berries and the embroidered sprinkles. Such a cute face. She's in the little cup. And she does smell like strawberries. It has a very cute, refreshing scent. And not too strong. And last over this video, I have one of the Retro Toys Mystery Minis. There's a lot of awesome ones to collect. I would love to find the Cobra Commander or the little glow worm. So cute. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if this feels heavy or not. I opened some on my $10 Tuesday series and we were super lucky. And at the time of filming, you can still find these at Five Below, which is cool. Inside, we have, oh, we have a G.I. Joe figure. I don't know who this character is. <laughs> but there he is. He is a, a one in six. So if you do know who this character is, feel free to let me know. I'm assuming it's G.I. Joe versus just a regular, like, army man. But either way, nice, nicely done. You can go uh, hang out with our uh, black sheep there. Feel free to let me know which item we opened today was your favorite. You can leave me a comment down below. As for me, I had a lot of fun opening these. I really like the Karomi figure. Those are really nice quality, solid little blind bag figures um, for a good price. And then I also like our little darling lamb. Um, so wrong, but so cute at the same time. And I'm very happy to find the flocked chase. And that'll do it for this episode of my Blind Bag Ship series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.